Donald Trump's comments on the extradition of non-citizens to the U.S. and his sharp critique of Kamala Harris tap into several hot-button public concerns, national security, immigration control, and the government's duty to its citizens. He emphasizes the need for strict border security and stronger immigration enforcement, framing them as essential to safeguarding Americans. His claim that Kamala Harris, let them come in, portrays the current administration as dangerously lax, implying that their failure to properly enforce immigration laws invites crime and increases risks to the public. The federal immigration numbers were just released. I know you started about that right when you got up on stage today here in Michigan. We're talking about more than 15,000 migrants who entered the country illegally that have either been accused or convicted of murder. How dangerous is this for Americans? I'm more than accused. I mean, they came out of jails and it was 13,576 or something. And uh, that's the least of it. You have that. And then you have hundreds of thousands that have been in prison for the worst crimes. And then you have the gang members, all of the gang members from all countries all over the world. Uh, they come in from the Congo, from prisons in the Congo, from games in the Congo. It's not just South America it's from all over. It is South America, but from uh, many other places. And they're coming in by the hundreds of thousands and destroying our country. And this Kamala doesn't know what she's doing. She allowed them to come in and they have to be removed. I mean, they're murderers, they're rapists, they're, they're at levels of crime, the highest levels of crime. And nobody's ever seen a report like that because they were never released to the best of my knowledge. Nobody knew about it. I was saying, but nobody could have thought it was that bad. These are murderers that are convicted and in prison, in the worst prisons in the world. They're now living happily in the United States of America, but they're not going to live happily long because they'll be on the same spree that they did in their own countries. They'll be killing people. Very dangerous. We have to get them out of our country. Trump's remarks underscore his belief that the government's top priority should be shielding its citizens from threats, both foreign and domestic. Citing an IC report on the release of criminals, he argues that lenient immigration policies directly endanger American society. His insistence that these individuals have to be removed reflects the conservative law and order mindset, where the rule of law is non-negotiable, and those posing a threat must be swiftly dealt with. By portraying Harris as someone who doesn't know what she's doing, Trump casts her as a symbol of ineffective progressive leadership, unable to tackle pressing national issues. Trump's rhetoric suggests that Harris's policies not only fail to protect Americans, but actively endanger them, calling for a stronger, more decisive government to ensure safety and order. His language plays into psychological dynamics, fear, blame, and the innate desire for security, painting a vivid picture of murderers and rapists. Flooding into the U.S., Trump stokes deep anxieties about personal safety and societal breakdown. By focusing on the potential for violence, he amplifies the emotional weight of the issue fueling an urgent call for action.